If you want to learn how to replace the fans in your noisy duplicator 4K, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz with AmazeStudios.com here. This is a tutorial on how to replace the noisy Blackmagic duplicator 4K fans with the Noctua ones. And this is what the Noctua fan looks like. Got on Amazon. Check out my links below. And it's easy to take these covers apart. Just take note that there's a screw underneath the sticker. You won't see it because it's covered by a sticker. And there's also two screws on each end. Just make sure you get those two and then it easily slides right off. And it's nice to have some proper tools. I use these little wire cutters that helps with uh, the sheath and these little needle noses with the curve. And here's the fan. Just let's do a quick comparison on the size. So these are 12 volt four pin fans. It comes with all the connections you need, so don't even bother with those other UI connectors. Just remove the fan one at a time. You know, why not go ahead and unplug it from the board and don't worry about the 12 volts. It's not enough to shock you. So here's the pin diagrams. You want to make sure that you match the corresponding colors, but the big thing here that's different is the 12 volt which is red from the board and it's yellow on the Noctua. So cut enough sheath off there so you can get access to the wires and we'll reuse the wires from the old fan for the connection. So we'll go ahead and start with the black on black and then all you have to do is just stick them right into this uh, connector. No need to solder or strip the wire and it's really easy. If you have the right tools, it's kind of hard to hold them all together. But once you get used to it, they just go right in. Then you want to connect the red to the Noctua yellow, which provides the 12 volt. And that's what it looks like. And squeeze that together to make the connection. And then tug it on it a little bit to make sure it is snug. Then you want to connect the PWN, which is blue to blue. It's nice that it matches. And that's what it looks like close up. And then you want to connect the yellow to the Noctua green. And then pinch those together to make a solid connection. And that's what it looks like when they're all put together. It's pretty thick, but at least you don't have to solder anything or strip any wires. Now let's get that plug back in and see if this thing works. That's why you only did it one at a time. It's a snug fit. Just pushes right in. the heck all right let me just try cutting off the blue PWM connector and see how that works I'm plugging it in still not getting power 
11.9 volts. So the red is hot. Okay, red is hot. So the one I bought is the orange one. It's the generic version that I showed you earlier, which is the Smiton. Smiton. I don't know how you want to say it. The Smitons. Smiton. Smitten. The 3M version that came with the Noctua is in the yellow, and the generic Smitten is on the left, which is orange. When I swapped those out, it actually worked. Check this out. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And let's go ahead and check the fan speed. Oh, second. All right, so let's do this. 1.2. So now I replaced everything with the Squatch Lock connectors that came with the Noctua fan. Let's try this out. And it works. Well, actually the airflow is going out. Let's go ahead and disconnect this old fan. All right, so the fan is exhaust. I'm gonna put this in so I can see how long the cable needs to be. room with the sheathing. Red to yellow. And make sure you don't put the source red and yellow together. You don't want to do that. So red to yellow. So this is the live 12 volt wire. Okay, red and yellow. Make sure that's totally flat. Okay, red and yellow. And now blue to blue. And then yellow to green to green and let's plug it in see if it works making the connection to the second fan yeah. and let's plug this in and now let's plug everything in holy cow that's a big difference All right, let me screw the fans back in and then we'll close it up. I'm just gonna make sure these aren't blocking airflow. I'm gonna get some tape, maybe I can tape that down.
55 dB. Okay, the unit's been on for about a good five minutes. And the hottest part looks like it is 85 degrees. About 87. The other fan is at 74. It actually feels cool. The fan feels cool coming out. So my hand's at 85. You see that's like 80. And then I'm pointing at this. It's also 80.